God, Lord, I am just spilling the tea, bitch. to a new vlog it is your girl Naray. for those that are new here do not forget to like comment and subscribe so um i just want to start a vlog because it's going to be a very hectic day and when i have hectic days i like to record um today is saturday we are going to be we're going to a funeral um it is um my boyfriend's family his aunt passed away recently so today is the funeral service we are in town i was going to start the vlog earlier but girl i woke up it was a hot ghetto ass mess um we were late but like i said i just wanted to start a vlog let you know that was tea thanks for likes coming and subscribe make sure you watch the video and yeah i'm just starting a vlog i'm just starting a vlog i don't know what to i don't know what the day is gonna bring i don't know but yeah i want to keep these shades on i like the shades my face looks so greasy i'm gonna put just a little bit of powder this powder from um lottie london is really good like i like this for like an overall face powder i love this okay okay all right okay, so it's been a few hours later i'm loving the way the background looks and everything like with the car and everything okay um, so it's been a few hours later. Um, the service was wonderful. It's beautiful. We're now kind of, you know, at the repast. It's hot. <laughs> My God. <laughs> the mask is melting off. The wig is sliding back. It's hot. I did excuse myself for a minute to just sit in the car and get the AC. Now, I was in the house most of the time, and then I decided to come outside for a minute. So, um, overall, it was, like I said, a great day. I'm very blessed um, to know that we made it here safe and sound. Yeah, I kind of low-key, and it's like no offense to y'all, but I really hate that I started a vlog because I don't think, um, at least today, I can be as consistent as I want to be because I'm just, uh, I'm around his family. I will not for the love of god be pulling this camera out around anybody i just don't feel comfortable doing so so um yeah i don't know how much longer i have to kind of just sit to the side and um a vlog for you guys um yeah i don't know why i started this vlog but this is here we are i am wearing a dress i got this dress from Dee Dee's. it was six dollars it is from i'm gonna show you guys the tag when i get home um they had a whole bunch of these in different colors it's this long dress it's a long dress it goes to like my ankles and it has pockets and when i say this is the most comfortable dress i feel so comfortable i'm also wearing this shapewear that i'm going to show you guys once i get home i promise i am but i want y'all to I'm gonna put it up here. This is some good shapewear. Now, the shapewear that I like to wear is the panty ones, which you'll see here on the screen. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I like the panty ones that go high up, um, because my stomach area is like my problematic area. I think that's the case for most people. I don't like to wear full body shapewear, like with straps and stuff, um, unless the suit calls for it. Cause I don't want to look big and muscular and, you know, like cock strong at the top and then look all bulky. You know, that look where you're just too strapped up in too many places. Yeah. I don't really like how that looks. This is some good shapewear, y'all. It's so good. I only I think I only paid like $12 for this. I was shocked. But this is some good-ass shapewear. It doesn't roll down. So I'm going to have it up on the screen. I highly recommend it. I really do. Like, and I bought this on a whim. And I was really worried and scared that um, it wasn't going to work. Like, I was just really in need of shapewear. And I needed something the next day. So I did order it off Amazon. Um, and so it's really, really good. Highly, highly. And I'm wearing this dress. So I just feel very comfortable. I love how this feels. Like, I feel very comfortable. I, I feel put in and put together but this dress and maybe that's just me but i just feel like i look five times bigger than what i normally am so i just look fat disgusting um and i'm like constantly asking people like hey do i look fat do i look ugly do i look like i'm about to just shit on myself and die um so you know i mean of course people are just not gonna tell me that to my face so i can respect that but i do feel a little like fat in this dress um so yeah i don't know why i just told y'all that i'm just rambling you guys <laughs> i'm just rambling um i'm just sitting in the ac really taking advantage um, the last vlog 58 000 views 
what now when things like this happen um I don't let it get to my head. I don't let none of this get to my head. <laughs> um, but like that would like n that shocked the fuck out of me. I was really on edge um, seeing that happen. I don't know what is going on. It's never, ever, ever, ever happened to me. So I do want to just say thank you. I don't know what's going on. And you know what's crazy? I swear to you, I prayed for days like this. I used to get on my knees cry with tears in my eyes i swear to god or i'll be at work when i used to work at um work from home at the little call center bullshit i used to cry and i mean this from the bottom of my heart when i tell y'all real deal tears cry for moments like this okay i used to ask god beg god please let me quit my job so i can do youtube full time i don't like working a nine to five i don't like the vibe please let me be able to quit my job and do this please god please please and not only has that happened but there's moments like that like fifty thousand people watching a vlog for me for me is insane insane like that's insane and these are moments that i prayed for and it's like once you get here it's a little humbling it's a little it's a little scary it is a little scary because you have so many eyes on you so many people critique you i'm honestly like people will address me and be like oh so like you know you do youtube right i'd be like um i don't know what you're talking about like i'm dead ass it's it's not that it's a bad thing that i do youtube but it's definitely a very insecure thing not necessarily in a bad way but it definitely sets you out people definitely know you from this and if people genuinely watch you for your enemies out there or people that watch you that don't have good intention you know i am opening you guys to my life i mean that is such an advantage for anyone out there that watches you they know more about you than you ever know about them and there's no telling what they think you're just putting yourself and you're really exposing yourself to a world of people. Once you think about it and you start to see 50, 60, 70,000 eyeballs, it is extremely, extremely, extremely humbling. Like it's extremely humbling and it puts things in perspective. It's like you say you want things, you pray for things so much, but when it really happens, are you really ready for it? Are you really ready for all the critique? Are you really ready to be on a huge platform where there are hundreds of people watching you, hundreds of pe people judging you, hundreds of people critiquing you, being on such a scale like that. And that's just 50,000 views. There are people that get multi-million views a day on YouTube. There are people that are like way beyond that. But for me, that was really like triggering. It was really like scary to see. And I was like, oh my God, like I was just really triggered. Um, and even though that vlog, I feel like it sucked. It, it, the vlog was just sucky. The vlog sucked. I mean, it, I, I don't, what did I do? I got contacts. I mean, it wasn't nothing serious at all. Like it was nothing serious at all. Oh my God, people are staring at me, Jesus. I'm staring at me. <laughs> I'm, I'm insecure right now. Vlogging in front of, well, I don't know, 20, 30 people. Imagine 50,000 people watching you. That, to me, is really humbling. So, I, for one, I just want to say thank you. I thank all of you guys. I appreciate you guys if you watch these videos. I think I mentioned that in the previous vlog, but I really don't give you guys enough thanks. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not be in the position that I am. Um, I've literally, like I said, I pray for days like this and I'm forever, ever grateful um, for this to be a, a platform of mine. So with that being said, um, I think I just rambled for four minutes. I'm gonna try to be social. Cause see, I'm not social. I'm not social. You know what it is? I come from a very small family. In person, like outside of YouTube, outside of all this bullshit, I am an extremely shy person. And like I said, every once in a while, every, I mean, like literally, <laughs> Maybe every once in a while, I can hang a monster crowd, but eventually I just get so overwhelmed, feeling like I am starting to get on someone's nerves or I'm becoming a burden or eventually they just get tired of me. I get that overstay your welcome feel. You know how you're not supposed to overstay your welcome? I feel like that after two hours. I feel like two hours, even, even shit, 45 minutes. It's then we're at the, you're overstaying, you're welcome, bitch, bye. That's how I see things through the other other people. Now, I could just be dramatic, which I probably am. But after 45 minutes, 
we've overstayed it's time to go that's just that's how i am and so you know when there are situations like this or there's like you know family events or or things like that like i said after about 30 45 minutes and i've said my hellos and we've made sure everyone's alive and breathing and doing well hey <laughs> bye you know that is me i can't go nowhere without it being like she has a youtube channel she has a youtube channel and i'm sitting in the car talking to y'all vlogging and there are people literally staring at me they probably like this bitch is in the car talking to her though or they can be like oh she's you know she's a youtuber it's a lot <laughs> it is um definitely a lot i am just rambling at this point because i'm really trying to take advantage of this ac um i am gonna go outside there are literally people staring at me y'all there's like a car on the side of me over here um i just feel the presence of eyeballs i feel the presence of eyeballs oh and then what if someone says like oh my god do you do youtube i'm gonna be like absolutely not <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> life so hard. Okay, I'm gonna go be social. Now I'm looking at my, my boyfriend and I'm sorry. I'm rambling. Lord, dude, this is gonna be the whole vlog. I am rambling. Um, My boyfriend, he sweats a lot. Um, And it's really concerning. I think he needs to go see a doctor. But obviously, you know, you set up like tables and you know, like people cook food for the repast. So, you know, that's what he's out there doing, setting up tables and you know, putting things together, you know, whatever. This man is sweating like a dog. He is sweating like a Hebrew slave. This man is sweating like he just ran 15 miles. Now, it is hot. Let me not say that. You know, let me not say that. I'm so judgmental. Let me not say that because it is very hot outside. Um, it is very hot outside and then he is doing a lot of shit. So, let me not say that. But on a general basis, he sweats a lot. And I do not like that. It, it's to the point where it's a medical condition it's a medical condition he always says like oh i'm fat i'm just fat and i'm like you know wedding like that you have to go see a doctor and you know what's crazy god lord i am just spilling the tea bitch a very uh, long period of time last year when i was in and out the hospital i was dealing with gallbladder issues if you know you know that entire year and i put this on everything i love i went to the emergency room 42 times i swear to god not on top of my regular doctor's visits and then i had to go see a specialist for my stomach to get the gallbladder surgery we had a girl i went to the doctor so fucking much i have ct scans blood work the amount of assurance i have on my health is is like top tier now you know now now that my gallbladder is removed i would say i'm a lot better but in general like i don't necessarily suffer with health anxiety no more because i know i'm up to t i can pull up my blood work at any given day bitch i got x-ray ct scans and they all within a year and I, I i don't play i get my blood work every year i know i'm good i don't remember last time he went to the hospital and got blood work changed he goes to the emergency room there has been some instances where he's went to the emergency room he had like um his like wisdom teeth was bothering him at one point like very rarely he has went to the emergency room for like very you know subconscious thing but recently he went to the emergency room it had to be like a month ago like a month and a half ago because he got sick and he had strep throat so he had to go he went to the emergency room do you know they did not do blood work on him now i request like if i am going to the emergency room i always request blood work because i just need to know right like i need to know my blood work fuck just looking at me and sticking something down my throat check my blood oh with him i'm like are they not running your blood and he's like, no, they're just giving me antibiotics. They did a strep throat test. I'm like, excuse me, you're sick. You need to get your blood tested. It tells you your like infection levels, la, 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 la. And I'm like, you just need to know. Like, you just need to know. Like, just know. Like, even though he's fine. I mean, I'm sure he's fine. But you just need to know your blood work. You're 30. Like, there's just no excuse. Like, at least, at least get a common blood panel. Like, at least. Just so you can know your kidneys are okay, your liver's okay, like just get a common test. But every time he goes to the emergency room, they never do blood work on him. He just goes there for basic bullshit and all they do is give him antibiotics and go. And I really think he needs to go to the doctor because he sweats, like a lot, like a lot. Like I can walk around Walmart and be just fine. I might be a little parched or you know, I might have a little, you know, a little something on my forehead. And I don't know, maybe I'm just a healthy, I'm, I am. I am a health anxiety freak. I, I know I am. But 
he needs to go get blood work. He needs to go get blood work. It's concerning. It's concerning. It's concerning. And I'm the only person that's concerned. I just feel like he sweats too much. Oh my God. Okay. I'm scared to get out of the car because people are staring at me. I'm scared. And cause they're gonna be like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing my job. <laughs> Struggling YouTube. Struggling YouTuber. <laughs> I need all the clout I can get. Girl, I'm such a struggling YouTuber, bitch. Girl. Girl's getting bad. You even snatched the guys out of your hands. Oh, he didn't even win the last one. He didn't ever play him out. I didn't win something when he didn't ever play out. He would have won it, but he didn't have to play out. He didn't have enough time to take it. Hey, Sam, you're going to fall up. It's fall up, man. It's fall up. It ain't my deal. It is no deal. I believe we're continuing a vlog. I think the last time you saw me was at the funeral, I think, I think. Um, it's been like two days. No, it's been like three days since that I've been home working. I'm literally in the middle of editing a video, but then I was like, I think I'm vlogging. So let me talk to y'all. Um, it is July 3rd. Tomorrow is the 4th, so happy holiday to everyone out there. Um, there is a local like fireworks show that's going on right now, supposedly, but the fireworks don't start till 9.30. Now, I'm gonna be honest, like in the area that I live in, these people treat this fireworks show like the president is coming, okay? All shit stops, road gets blocked off. I mean, people can't even enter their apartments. Like, it's that bad. Like, these people come from high and low. It be thousands of people out here. It is a lot. Now, we have been to this event every year since we've lived in this area. Um, and where I live at now, although I live very close to where I used to live at, um, I can see the fireworks from my house. I can literally step out my front door and see the fireworks. It's only eight o'clock at night. I have to get like a video edited real quick and submitted. So that's what I'm about to do. It was raining earlier. It was thundering. So I'm still debating on if we're going to really, really go to the event. Like I said, I can literally see the fireworks from my front door. Um, That really has been the updates. I have not really been doing anything since then. I did have a filming day today. I had a sponsorship with You Like um you guys will probably see that before this video i don't know um but yeah so this is their it's a um laser hair removal device one thing i will say from a creator standpoint from an influencer standpoint this is honestly a great brand to work with when i say they were very very convenient with what they wanted they offered me a very good rate they didn't like hassle me or they didn't want to negotiate like it was just a really nice partnership like they have been so kind the entire process so efficient um so yeah as an influencer like if you have the chance to work with you like i highly recommend but typically when you give a brand your rate you're gonna be open to some negotiations that's the first thing they're gonna ask i'm gonna you open negotiations baby they didn't they didn't say they didn't say nothing and i'm hoping they like the little video that i did for them so that's what i'm about to edit right now um i'm still wearing this wig I'm still wearing this wig oh my God. i look like crap okay so let me get to editing um i would kind of show y'all but that's really not interesting i'll talk to y'all in a minute Bitch, they really got me outside. Lord Jesus, they really got me outside, y'all. Okay, let me. And like I told y'all earlier, I was gonna stay home to watch the fireworks. I can literally watch it from my front door. But she insisted. Oh my God. Don't like fireworks. I really don't. I never did. People, are people sitting out there? 
See, that's what I want to do. We can sit right there. Wait, come on the bed. Wait. So, yeah, y'all, we are here. The fireworks are supposed to start at 9.30. It's like 9.10 now. Um, and we're, well, we, we, we're literally, we live across the street from the event. So, it's not a problem, but we do have to walk. Oh, look at this shit. We are literally on rocks. Yeah. 
in my phone. If you need some help, I'm in the same tone.